everybody, Monica here with Handmade Bay, and today we're talking about our November challenge. Yay! So this is in our swap group at the studio, and if you have not joined us yet, please come on over and join us. It's a group with challenges. Um, we have swaps over there. We learn new things. I'll post a lot of videos over there, uh, and talking about paper crafts and you know, whatever projects we have going and some tips and tricks. So head on over and join us. We'd love to have you. So November's challenge is this. So it, this is all done with envelopes. All right. So this is what I've made so far and I will be making another one, but I just wanted to share with you. This is, has pockets. This is really easy. If you're a beginner, um, at, paper crafts and journals uh this is a great project for you uh, i just did this with stickers we've got pockets little inserts to tuck stuff in this is great for a swap uh, for the november challenge this is just going to be um, something you can keep and you can send it to somebody which who wouldn't love to get this stuff i have a little napkin in there and this i did this is basically fall scenes um these were free printables that I got offline and like, this is like the apple, um, orchard, orchard. <laughs> um, here's like the pumpkin themed and I have little things in there and then there's room to write in and pockets and all pretty fun stuff. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do this very quickly, uh, very easy. So what you're going to need for this, I'm going to put this over there is you will need six envelopes. All right, and these are business size envelopes, which I think are like nine by four and a half. I got these at the dollar store. I'm just looking to see what the size is. Oh, okay. So these are four and an eighth by nine and a half, all right? And you get 40 of these, so you can make a lot of these with that. And what I'll have in the description is some free printables. Um, join these web pages. They have some great stuff. And what I did for this one is whatever you you're going to use, I printed them nine on a page and that will be a perfect size for these. Okay. Uh, so, um, that's what worked for me. All right. And these are going to be in here. These are from, let me say, I just want to get to my artcd.com and she gives these beautiful free printables uh, for personal use. All right. So I'll include her link. If you're on the swap page, I, it's in the guides and it's in the guides for free printables. All right, so this is, I'm going to be making my next one with these. Very cute stuff. All right, so you can go ahead and print those. And I print these on cardstock. All right, so know your printer. And if you print and you get these lines, this is just a little tip I'm going to give you. I did it on this one. I forgot to reset my settings. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay, so if you can look closely at this. See how sometimes you'll get lines like this if you're trying to print on cardstock. You have to reset your setting for brochure paper or even photo paper, depending on what your printer is. And I print these on draft on that setting. And look, you do not need to go best quality, normal quality. You're still going to get a great print and vibrant on these. Okay, so that's just a little tip for you. And what you're going to need is some stain. Now you can use these distressing blocks, stamp pads. You can use your alcohol inks. If you've watched my videos, I have the one on how to make your own alcohol inks. So go check that one out. And you're going to need some glue. You can use your crafting glue and you can use your fabric glue, whichever one you want. The crafting glue is fine because you're going to end up adding stuff to it. And it, it's pretty solid on these pages. They don't bend very easily once you add the other paper. So I use just regular um, crafting glue. And these are the Dollar Tree ones. I just found these there and I keep these upside down in one of my jars and the glue's always at the bottom. Just close it before you do that or it will be in there. Uh, but these are great. I really like these. So grab a couple. It comes in a pack of two. So. All right, so I'm going to use the crafting glue for this one. And we are going to get started. All right, so we're going to take all our envelopes, and the first thing you're going to do is you are just going to fold them in half. So you want this on the outside, okay? Simple as that. 
you can tape these down if you want. I don't really find the need for it. So it's totally up to if you want to do that. And we want to fold it and we want to make sure we get that crease good. Let me get my little folder here. All right, whatever you use, you know, this like this is a spackle thing. I mean, I got one of these. Use whatever. All right, and just make sure that crease is good. All right, so now I did that for all of these already. So remember, all six, you're just going to fold in half and just make sure that that crease is good. And it'll be fine once it's all together. So what you want now, here's what you want to figure out is, do you want to distress the edges? Which here I used a cranberry. I think it's a cranberry. Oh, rhubarb stark. That's what I used on this, which... I thought it was good. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm crazy about it, but um, I think it came out okay. And of course, I got more stuff to put in here, so um, that's okay. So what I'm going to do here is I have the copper. Now, if you watched my video on one of the Halloween videos, I think it's on the flip book. I showed you how to do the distressing, like the smoky look. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here, what I'm going to do is you can just take your stamp. And let me get my piece of paper, because I think with this color theme, the copper will look really great with it. So let me get my little paper here to keep my area clean. And you can just go like this. Okay. And you can go just go like this. You can cover the whole thing. Now you can take the brush. You know, if you have one of these, you could take a Q-tip. You know, you don't have to have anything fancy. And you can put it on like that. Okay, now that's copper. Now the bronze, I like mixing with it. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here it is. See, I got a few of them. This is a little darker. And you can do that. And you're going to do all around each page. Now this part you're going to have hidden, so you don't need to do that part. I don't think. Let me just look again. Yeah. All right. So really just the front of the pages, and you want to do in here too, because that's going to be... You know, you're going to see this as your hinge. Okay, so let me get and do that, and I'll be right back. So now we finished with all the distressing and what I did when you see the video I played it fast forward for you but when I did the stamping on the edge I figured out I could do that and then just start rubbing it and sometimes it gave you enough around the edge so a little tip 
All right, so we're going to take all our envelopes. We're going to take one and we're going to cut it in half. All right? I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here for you. Sorry, that was my cat scratching the wall. <laughs> so, good timing, right? All right, so I'm going to take these, cut it in half, use your scissor, you know, whatever you got. And now we're going to start assembling this. So now we cut this in half. This is going to be our cover. All right, so this will be on the inside. Now you could leave this as the opening like this and have a pocket in the side. Or you can have it to where the closed part is your outside. And you can have an opening here. So figure out which way you want it to go. Okay? So close to open. This one that I did, I left it open. And I have a pocket here. So it's up to you what you want to do. Okay? So for this one, I'm going to do it that way. Actually, I'll do it this way. I'll leave it closed. So we're going to take our... So this... Okay, let me get this together for you. And then however you want to do the back okay so it's as you assemble it put it together and think about where you want pockets if you want the pockets on the top if you want the pockets on the side and that's how you're going to glue it okay so i am just gonna wing it here so we're going to take our cover and i'm going to do it here so i'm going to take my first envelope and i'm going to glue this now you can do it as a pocket but I am going to seal it all the way. Okay, and you don't need much glue. And what I like about these tubes, again, I've told you the top is flat. You don't need a lot of glue. Don't waste glue. I see a lot of videos where people are putting all this glue on their stuff, and it's, it's such a waste because you really don't need a lot on most things. Okay? Glue is expensive, right? Especially the uh, fabric glue. So. And this kind of paper, thin paper, doesn't need a lot. Okay? All right, so we have our cover. We can open up, and this is our first page. Now we're going to take our next envelope. I'm trying to get... Okay, that's better. I'm going to take our next envelope, and we're going to glue these together. Now here, I'm going to put a pocket in the top. So what do we do when we do pockets? Only three sides, right? One, two, three. And leave the side you want the pocket on open. So I'm going to put glue on here, and here you just want it on the edges, right? So you have the pocket. Okay, just a little glue. Line it up, put them together. Make sure it lines up just by closing it. Okay. Open it, press, and we have our next page. I'm going to take my next envelope. And again, it doesn't matter. You can go upside down this way, however, it's fine. If you seal these, you don't have to worry. But if you don't seal them and you got a pocket, you'll have a little flap in there. So, All right, so here I'm going to do a side pocket. Actually, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to close this up on this one. Because it does add some stability to your pages. So, okay. I didn't leave this upside down, so now it, the glue started to go to the bottom. All right, let me fix that. Okay, good. All right. Line it up. Okay. And see, this is why you want all your envelopes the same size, because it makes this project really easy. All right, so on this one, I sealed that, right? Okay, I was looking for the pocket. Okay, <laughs> this one I'm going to make a side pocket. So I'm going to go to the top. I'm a lefty, and I'm trying to do this so you can see it. I think i got to move my camera over to the other side. Okay, now we're just going to do three sides for the side pocket. I'm going to glue it again. All right. I'm going to do this video like this because I figured you can watch along the way. Um, hopefully it's not too long for you, but I know if you're a beginner, sometimes these videos you need it step by step. Okay, and now I'm going to seal this one all the way.
one all the way around. Okay, and I'm going to do the next one. Because this one will have no pocket. But on each page, now you can make pockets like I did on mine, right? So you can do anything with this. Really, this is about making a nice, easy book for a beginner. If you're experienced at doing paper crafts and journals and inserts, then this will be a nice, fun, easy one for you. And remember, it's all about the embellishments, right? What happens in the end. At the beginning, it looks like nothing, right? This just looks like a mess, but it ends up being really beautiful. All right, and now we have our last page, which I'm going to keep solid on this side, but I'm going to leave a pocket at the top. All right, so I'm going to... I did it again with my glue here. Okay. I'm just going to go around. All right. And it's our last page here. Even it up. And remember, six envelopes. You cut one in half. And then you start assembling and making pockets. And that is all there is to it. You are done and you are ready to decorate. How about that? Um, so this is with the golds. And what I did with the golds, too, I had three different golds. I had like a swift gold or something it was called, you know, really bright. I had the copper and I had another medium tone gold. And I actually started mixing them as I was doing it. Uh, so it added a little more depth in there. Okay, so the gold's going to be fun with these. I think it'll look great. And I'm not going to decorate this now. It was just to show you how to do this. So... Make sure you head over to our page, join the November challenge, and you're going to post a picture of what you made, a few pictures of each page on a white background, please, because I'm going to then collage each person's stuff, and it makes it much easier on me. All right, um, and a good distance. Don't zoom in like this to take your pictures, okay? Get a good distance so I have room to work with in the back, all right? So, again, make your pockets. Make something beautiful, as you all do. You're all so creative out there. I love seeing all your work. And I hope to see you over there. All right, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.